out there, and so I gotta say hi. You guys just thought we were fucking exhausted. Yeah. It's very, very, really fucking hot in here. Uh, play some songs that you may or may not know. Who gives a shit? Play music. <laughs> And, um, but because this is the first time that we're in Paris, it's like, fuck it, we'll just play a lot of old songs, so this one's for all of you guys. I, I had no idea about it until ten minutes ago. I had no idea what I was going to play, so I just, <laughs> just made some shit up. So uh, I hope this is fun. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Don't pass out. It's really fucking hot in here. Uh, it's only gonna get so this is the coffee house, I don't give a shit version, where we just like, Make you kind of chill and more acoustic, so, um... I hope you... I, uh... Fuck it, I'll play it. <laughs> How many of you, this is the first time coming to, uh... See my sorry ass, I guess. Alright, that's good. We're, uh, we're all in this together. How about people who are, uh... We're coming back, who've come to the show before? <laughs> so we messed it up too bad the first time, it's good to know. Um, really, this is so, such a thrill to have... I mean, you know, in the States, you have people, when you're in one state, people coming in from other states, but you have people coming in from other fucking countries. <laughs> I mean, Paris, it's, it's quite a thrill, and this is one of my favorite cities in the world. For those of you that have never been to a uh, Darren show, there's a couple of prerequisites. One, it gets super fucking hot, so that's, that's one. Which means that's a good thing, it means they're having a good time. Uh, secondly, we, I never know any of the goddamn words to these songs, which I know you guys just love. Fucking awesome song, I love that song. <laughs> I desperately make my way through this one as I read it off the fucking iPhone. I talk a lot. I like languages. I like speaking in different languages. I like saying shit all the time. I also like saying the word shit, but I just like saying. Uh, sing. Theater people are weird. Any theater people here tonight? Boyfriends over the mom's dad that like got dragged here that have no idea what the fuck you're doing here. Let me hear you. Yeah. Yeah. How are we doing now? <laughs> Thank you for not leaving. Is what I was gonna say. I appreciate it. Woo! For hanging out. Um, I'm running out of ways to say thank you. This is really, really extraordinary. I mean, do the math. I mean, we live in such an incredible world. I'm in the middle of a foreign country with all of us, and some of us may not know each other. Some of us may have met through things. <laughs> Can, can we get a, just applause for you guys? Like, how fucking amazing is that? Like, we live in such an amazing place where you guys don't have to come together. Like, all of this is so much bigger than any of us. Like, it's amazing. People go, like, oh man, Dan, like, so you, I'll hear really nice things. You'll say very beautiful things to me. And I go, that has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with the, the goodwill of, like, everybody on the planet and how it has brought us together and how you guys have used all the evil shit of, like, the internet for really good things. Um, all, all the crazy shit that we can do now, you guys are, like, the other side of that coin, which is getting together and making this world a closer and tinier place, so, well done. Thank you for having me. A thousand thank you to anybody who was waiting really damn long, and the parents as well, who, like, they get really lazy. I'm the guy that's, like, spitting. You know, like, what the hell is this guy doing? Um, give me some water. Let's just pretend that for the past week I've been singing my ass off uh, shooting the new season of Glee. Thank you so much for waiting. I don't know what the hell happened. Rain always makes things complicated. It's a wonderful city, one of my favorite cities in the whole damn world. But it comes from a good place because it means we give a shit. It means we care. It means we have concern. Don't take for granted that a bunch of strangers came up to give a shit about what I do. So thank you from the bottom of oh, Holy shit, is it good to be back in this? <laughs> And they talk about the Michigan difference and all that shit. I just let me tell you, it is so true. It's a pride to get my ass out of bed in the morning to fly to Michigan this morning to be here today. I, I don't need to say this, you, you know this, but it's fun to just say, yeah, we're going to kick ass tomorrow, and yeah, we're an amazing school, but I hope you guys know how lucky you are to be here. And I so I'm going to ask you one question, the answer is very simple. It is, hell yeah, are we going to be Notre Dame tomorrow? Go, you say what? Go, what? Go, what? Go, what? You guys, it is fucking great to be Michigan Wolverine. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>
It's a fucking trip, you know, being part of the show that really has changed lives, and I'm, I'm so blessed because I'm just some fucking kid, you know, they got really lucky, and I'm, I'm so blessed to be here. Does anybody, like, do any, like, research, or, like, do, are, you, are you serious, you serious right to just like, sit here you know, and ask questions for things that you should? Um, f*** you. I'm gonna go and write some real songs. I wasn't as inhibited with being a person. I just, I didn't give a shit, so. You know. The last thing I'm gonna do is tell you to shut shit up. Um, oh, by the way, I have my nifty little Derek Lewis secret station between our social networking and all that stuff. It, it's, it's fucking incredible. And the fact that some kid from the US who put something on YouTube is now before you in London. Um, but this is a general song of, you know, wanting to be recognized for the things that all of us know that we're fucking awesome at. And send me, send, I don't know, send like a paper airplane of like notes. Uh, actually don't, because now I'm gonna get a shitload of paper. <laughs> so just send me vibes. Now we're gonna take an extreme left turn and do something so goddamn silly. Make your head spin. Did, did like a goblin chill? Like every time I hear people scream suddenly, I'm like, shit, like, is there like a zombie infestation on the prowl that I'm somehow blind to? It's a show, man, it's a show. Let's fucking laugh. No, I just screwed up again. What was it? We had it, we lost it. I got too confident. Fuck, what is it? Uh, it doesn't change the fact that I love you guys all so goddamn much! So, um, thanks for, um, like making my dreams come true, like oh, shit. So it's pretty damn hot in here. <laughs> There's tons of cool shit to do that you are here with us and it's all people are coming to see the show. This is really extraordinary. And the song's about missing the past but being really cool through present. And you guys have made my present one hell of a feel right. And for that I have to thank you. Before I got to, before I last got was into a television show before I got to. The mic isn't into it. This is fucking ridiculous. I like musical theater and, and fucking court scenes. Do you mind if I get a picture of you and with this crowd going to be so crazy behind us? We took a big fucking step yesterday. King had a great quote that the mark of the moral universe bends towards justice. It might take a while, but we we'll get there eventually. And yesterday we just met the shit out of our. How many of you guys know what the hell's going on? Your boyfriend, mom, dad, girlfriend, guys. Who the hell is this guy? Think he is. Which is basically my whole life. So this is my life story. Like you, you come to these things like, I don't know. I have no words to thank you. Damn it! Feels like classic Broadway, so it's a hell of a show to make a debut. I have to wake myself up and be like, "Shit!" Like, well, hot damn, I want to be a genie. James Costner that's like the third day. It depends how lazy you are. If you're like me, you say, "I don't give a shit." <laughs> but that song kicks so much ass. And I'm so glad I got this. Another show we did called Me and My Dick. We have a musical called Me and My Dick. That's weird. Very wild. I never thought I would say I'd be a, a Billboard, you know, chart writer for a musical called Me and My Dick. Everything that has happened for us, I and my friends have, by my estimation, fallen ass backwards into, and um, kind of landed in this pile of, this big pile of blessings, you know, and you kind of, you get up and you're like rubbing your eyes being like, what the, <laughs> what just happened? For the folks that have no idea what the hell's going on again, this is the one where you go, fuck this guy. <laughs> I just, I apologize. That's what I say to myself on a day to day. I'm glad you're here. There's tons of cool shit to do in Philly. You decided to spend it on your own Before a lot of stuff uh, has happened, before I fell ass backwards into the Glee thing, before I accidentally started a theater company. So you can take that shit to the things, man. Yeah. Yeah. This one you can do without getting a picture, but I need it with the with the crowd going age shit crazy. Man. This, this is right here, this is, a, this is a mixture of the climate of Philadelphia, but also the level of how much I give a shit. I don't have to be working my ass off right now. It's easy, I love it, because the crowd is killing it right now. You know, we just, I played music for the hell of it, and it wasn't about 
trying to impress anybody or it was just a, a sort of a thing that I like to do. And so for those of you conservative types, that if that's a word that freaks you out, let's just make that synonymous with confidence. It's basically the same shit. Confidence is sexy. Sexy is confidence. Badass levels. Like, if you're gonna write a country song, hell yeah, man. Like, write a country song. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I ask myself that every day of my life. <laughs> and more importantly, I say, what the hell is Paul doing here? How did he even get here? How did any of us get here? <laughs> He's been very wonderful. Um, last night, uh, I was on this kick ass show called Glee. That I People get all weird about, like, oh no, I'm sweating. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm sweating. It's like, man, this guy's not only an idiot, he's a dick. I don't understand <laughs> what is going on here. Uh, God, I keep screwing up because I we changed the words because for that fucking musical. Because you need teamwork! Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Any of all of you, bottom line, I hope if you're a boyfriend or a dad or a mom or sister that got dragged here, you're wondering what the hell is going on. This whole show is for everybody. This is a very, very, very cool place, and there's a lot of cool shit to do. I have to say, you know, the beginning of everything, before all this shit, before I could come to Toronto and have you all here, you know, singing along with songs that I wrote when I was a teenager. This is the slow set where we try new shit out, so it's very boring. It's not very interesting. Even our house rocks, I can't even imagine what kind of other assholes exist in other stupid houses. What? <laughs> a douchebag, Herman. <laughs> I play guitar when everybody just wants to hang out and, uh, and make weird covers of Disney songs. Who does <laughs> Muggles hate that shit. To them, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a douchebag. I'm like, oh, they died because of your giant horse dog. Sorry, <laughs> right, man. If I could catch up to those asshole slithers for like maybe two seconds. Jeez, Snape is such a dick. Hey, there he is. Black. That bastard. I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna throw everything. Wait a second, wait, hold on. Uh, what the hell is Draco doing here? Oh, why? Right, Turn invisible? I'm, and I just traveled the f back in time. <laughs> Lupin eats shit. Gryffindor wins. When you just have a sneeze wanting to come, but it won't. I just want to come. It's so annoying. I just want to, it's like, come on, man. I just want to fucking sneeze at you. As part of their More Force season, which spotlights Kubrick's films, and the... Oh, shit, man. Thank you, Gordon. Now get the hell out of here. Then you have a song, you know, like like Peacock, which can be very much about, you know, seeing, you know, singing to your your pet peacock as is, is you know, uh, an inquiry to see someone's penis, you know. So it's a really great, you know, duality. You can't just fuck with people like that. They're my fucking everything. See my cheat sheet here because clearly I can't remember a damn word. Original version. That was, that was the dick. Yeah. Um, I was really bummed that I couldn't be the dick again. But Joe Walker, thank God, one of my best friends in the whole wide world. Yeah. Um, was a dick and he made it. It's a lot of, like, lot of dick and vagina jokes. You don't really put your best foot forward if you think no one gives a shit.